I was diagnosed when I was nine. And, you know, once you get cancer, you, you kind of got to be all grown up. Um, and, and you don't really have a childhood. That was a rare moment of despair for Gabriella Miller. Because almost as soon as she learned she had brain cancer in November of 2012, she was determined to seize life and help others. She was always, uh, could come in a room. She would point and used to hear, used to hear, let me tell you a story about a time, you know, once upon a time. She was the kind of child who at age six, long before her illness, donated her hair to cancer patients who had lost theirs. But now she faced her own challenge terminal brain cancer. It could be fixed because we live in an amazing country. We've got access to some of the best medicine, science, doctors in the world. It will be okay. And it wasn't. Hi, my name is Gabriella Miller. I'm 10 years old and I have brain cancer. Gabriella decided she would campaign for more funding to find a cure. Less and less kids are going to have their childhood if awareness if, if pe people don't raise awareness and raise funds. The tumor was the size of a walnut on her brain stem, which pressed on nerves to the rest of her body. The Millers would smash walnuts to give her a sense of control. And they started the Smashing Walnuts Foundation to raise money for research. I am smashing walnuts, cracking the cure for childhood brain cancer. Then there was Macy's, which promised to donate a dollar to the Make-A-Wish Foundation for every letter written to Santa. The average wish was $7,500, so we made it our goal to get 10,000 letters. How many letters did she end up getting? She personally delivered over 240,000 letters. But Gabriella also wanted to squeeze all the life she could into the brief time she had. She wanted to go to college. Shenandoah University put her through a day of classes, then staged a ceremony to give her an honorary degree. I've had a wonderful day, and you know, I can't wait to come back and learn more in eight years. She said to us that was the best day of her life, and, uh, and she died two weeks later. <laughs> there was only one thing that got Gabriella down, the failure of Washington to put more money into research. She delivered a blunt message. Stop talking and start doing. Talk is bullshit. We need actions. <laughs> <laughs> After her death last October, House Majority Leader Eric Cantor saw that video. He pushed the Gabriella Miller Kids First Research Act through Congress. $126 million over the next decade. This place can often be about politics, and what we're trying to do is put the curing of disease for children above politics. I want people to remember that she achieved what she wanted far too young. Her parents didn't tell Gabriella she was dying until two days before she did, but she knew. Her mom read a poem Gabriella wrote six weeks before her death. I die here tonight so that you are able to go on so that you will not stand and watch the world's children's go. I go for you. She was 10 years old and she was dying and and yet she's thinking about other kids. That might be one of the reasons why I got cancer so that not as many kids will be diagnosed. If I lose my battle then you know, I'm, I'm going to want other people to carry on with the war. I'll be with my friends, and I'll be in a good place, and it won't be all that bad. President Obama will sign the Gabriella Miller Act into law on Thursday.